Today I thought I'd just take a look at the instrumentation panel on the 018 bike compared to the 019. So if we look at this bike in the video now, seven months back this is the 018 version I had in the uh, Honda Red. And here's a good look at the instrumentation. When I'm turning right now and you can have a look how the um, speedo sits in the thing, the taco runs and that's the pre-run for the thing and all your uh, trouble lights and that sit up the top of the display unit and although when I had that bike I thought that was a pretty cool display I actually think now on the 2019 model that this, the display itself is a lot better presented and works a lot better easier to read and more importantly that uh, gear selector is a big bonus so uh, that's a rough look now of the um, 18 model I had so we'll swing over now and I'll go to the bike and uh, We'll have a look at the A19 version. Hi guys, back again. So here we are in front of the A19 version of the one I purchased a few days ago. And I think the first thing that strikes me compared to looking back at that video of the red 18 model I had, it may be just colour alone of the, um, the metallic gunmetal black, but the bike sort of looks more compact or smaller. Like if you look back at the picture of the the video on the red one, the red bike looks actually bigger than this bike. I don't know whether or not they changed anything up here in the uh, front bearing, sort of around the tank or anything like that. We know they knocked the beak off a bit, but apart from that, this bike uh, just seems a little bit smaller to sit on and ride compared to the one I had before, so uh, maybe an illusion, maybe not, I'm not sure, but Either way, it's a nice bike to ride, so it doesn't matter, I suppose, as long as you enjoy riding it. Now let's have a look at that uh, dash display. Okay, we'll light her up now. So, uh, it's just a bit of reflection from the veranda there, but as you can see on the left hand side, no, naturally you know I'm in neutral. I'll just zoom in. You can see the fuel gauge there to the right of the neutral light, that's probably three parts full, and you've got your tachometer there on the outside, on the outskirts of that. Tying up in the centre. Your digital speedo. Temperature display. So if we check over on the right hand side of the display, we've got total, total kilometres travelled, we've got trip A, trip B. If that way you want to swing over to that side, you've got the built in rev counter. So that's on your right button on your display. Over here on the left side you've got litres per 100 which apparently I'm averaging 3.2 it could be how long I've been on the bike 4.7 and of an hour with an average average speed on that thing of 65 kilometres an hour we're back to time so overall, you know, when you look at the display, you've got a, um, a nice little display to look at on these bikes. 